in football stadiums like this one all over America beginning next week. Three teams will take the field. There will be a home team, a visiting team, but there will be a third team called the team of officials. The team of officials will not belong to either the home team or the visiting team because the team of officials belong to another kingdom. They belong to the NFL. Their job is not to take sides with the warring factions on the field because they've received from the commissioner the 200 block of Park Avenue in New York a rule book. And that rule book is to govern their governance on the field of play. The moment that this third team becomes aligned with the battling teams on the field, they have illegitimized themselves. The moment that they listen to the hisses and the cheers of the crowd, they have illegitimized themselves. Idolatry is where we refuse to listen to our commissioner and the book that he's given us on the field of play and start listening to the teams that are battling on the field of play. God has called the Church of Jesus Christ to be his third team. We do not belong to the field, we belong to another kingdom, the league office. And at the head of this office, we have a commissioner, the Lord Jesus Christ. He has given us the rule book, the word of God. The church of Jesus Christ is to govern what it does on the field by what has been dictated by our commissioner, not by what is argued by those who are opposing one another. When the church loses its uniqueness, it loses the support of the league office. How else can you explain that we have all these churches on all these corners with all these members and all these preachers and all these programs and still in our nation have all this mess? There's a dead monkey on the line somewhere. And that is because the church has lost its corporate perspective of the body of Christ and we have let idols an idol is an illegitimate unauthorized person place or thing to whom God's people look for solutions hope and help we have the king of kings and the lord of lords we don't need idols how can America be one nation under God if the church of Jesus Christ can't be one church under God. We should be modeling what the nation is to become. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verses 14 through 22 says when the church allows idols to enter its midst it provokes God to jealousy and has opened the door for demons. When the church allows idols, it's opened the doors for demons and allowed God to become a jealous God. The reason why America is in a mess is because God's church is in a mess. If we want to fix America, fix the church. And God can use the church to fix America. It is time now for the church of Jesus Christ to stop playing hide and go seek. Everybody else is going public. It's time for us to go public too. And so what God is doing is he's calling his church to a time of repentance. Repentance is where you discover you've been going the wrong way on the highway and it's time to exit. You exit off of the confession off ramp. You agree with God that he was right, we are wrong. But then there's an overpass. 
We'll call that the grace overpass. That's why his goodness, mercy, and kindness reaches us in our detour and departure and brings us back down the other side on the on-ramp. We'll call that the restoration on-ramp. So if you confess on the off-ramp, cross over the grace ramp onto the restoration on-ramp, now you're headed back home. And everybody knows, everyone knows that it takes a lot less time to come home than it took to get lost because there's no place like home. God is calling the church to repent of idolatry because if America is going to be delivered, God's church must be delivered first. Let's go and be the church God has called us to be. Secularstupidist.com, conservative.com, rightosophy.com.